This year's State of the Sector found that 63% of respondents are regularly measuring communication reach. But knowing that a message has reached employees just isn't enough. We should instead be measuring the outcomes that occur as a result of employees receiving and acting on messages. We see in this year's report that the primary purpose of internal comms is to support culture and belonging, in which case we should be measuring what difference it makes to the organisation when communications uphold and improve the culture and make people feel like they belong. All that is to say, we need to shift our focus from measuring outputs to outcomes. And it seems like that's on the agenda for the year ahead. Improving impact measurement and evaluation is the number four overall priority for internal communications in 2023. When it came to using the data we collect, the most frequently cited use case for measurement at 52% was to show the return on investment of comms to leadership. But that begs the question, who is communication for? If we're busy making ROI reports for the C-suite, have we lost sight of what we're trying to do for our audiences? Well, this year's report found that adjusting messaging, refining the channel framework and tailoring content were the second, third and fourth reasons to measure, but all fell well below 50%. So let's just say that there's room for improvement when it comes to making the most of our data to meet employee needs. When there are so many influences on organizational well-being, it's time consuming to isolate and then measure the effect of internal comms on the employee experience. And 58% of respondents told us that that's exactly what they don't have. The biggest challenge to measuring was a lack of time and resource. And it's a vicious cycle. We don't have the time to measure, but a lack of analytics and measurement is holding us back it came up as the number five overall challenge for internal comms this year. But the good news is it doesn't have to be this way. When it comes to measuring the value of internal communications, a quick and dirty approach is better than none. Imperfect measurement is still a starting point and the best time to start is now.